great greetings to Yeti, the Mamba Yeti. Thank you for having us here. And uh, we are very blessed to be in this place. Last time I was in Botswana, I think it was 2013. And it was still because of him that I traveled to Botswana. And I'm back here again nine years later. Because of the same man again. Amen. So we bless the Lord and I thank Him for what He's doing through Him as well. Amen. Amen. I'd like to bring out all the servants of God. Let me let us get to the top. I'm receiving something. Can I just get into this? He wants to restore your prayer life. 
Even in the past few weeks, you've been saying the following, you know, I'm concerned about my prayer life. I'm concerned that I'm not at the level where I used to be. And the Spirit of the Lord says that I must address you and say the following, that he wants to bear something out of you, but it will be birthed out of prayer. So there is a waiting prophet within you. There is a spirit of a wailer within you. You are like a seer in the spirit. And I want to awaken that, that kind of a grace within you. You are like a seer in the spirit, you are the eye of the spirit. But I'm concerned that the eye is growing dimmer instead of more brighter and more strong. The spirit of the Lord says that I will therefore revive you. I will renew you. I will rebuild you. I will mold you. Mm. I will bring you back to that original form that I had built you for, says the spirit of the Lord. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that even the gap, I see the Holy Spirit approaching you like a woman. Like he's approaching you in the form of a woman. And he says that even the gap of a woman, the gap of a feminine, the gap of a mother, and feeling it in your heart, says the spirit of truth. Spirit of the living God, I thank you for him. Mm. I release grace. Oh, yes, Lord. Prophetic grace. Mm. Rivers. Mm. Same grace even upon my life. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for even the grace for finances. Thank you even for the grace of leadership that I've seen. Thank you for the Joseph kind of grace your brothers will drink from you. I bless you, Spirit of the Living God, for the work you are doing in this life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I see soccer. I don't know. You love soccer. There's a following on issues that relate to. I'm seeing a ball, like, like, like uh, you know, kind of a soccer and all that. I don't know if you are what the Holy Spirit is trying to reveal, but I see more of that. I see even jokes. Yeah. You make a lot of jokes. Yeah. But I also see that the Holy Spirit is bringing to a place where, you know, Ukari, uh, there is a, a flood that is brought that the Holy Spirit wants to unlock. He wants to bring it to a place of unlocking. And, and, and as I speak, I'm seeing a key. A key that the Holy Spirit wants to use and has been trying to use in you to open up a flood that has been locked up in your spirit. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that I'm going to begin to work with you. I'm going to begin to work with you. I'm going to begin to move you. I'm going to begin to, to bring you to a place of greater compromise. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that I'm going to even cause you to pay the price for what I'm about to do in your life, for it is great. I see nations in your pain. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that you will touch even other places, other regions, and so forth, and you will even touch them in business, says the Spirit of the Lord. He says that I'm raising you up as a strength. I see the right hand of the Lord being lifted even upon you. And the Spirit of the Lord says that I'm lifting you up as a head of authority, as a man of authority, says the Spirit of the Lord. Do not shy away from ministering. Do not shy away from preaching, says the Spirit of the Lord. He says that I want you on the pulpit. The Spirit of the Lord says that I'm going to launch you into books and I'm going to increase the hunger to study and to know more about my things and on my weight. And I will open up doors for you, for you to minister to even my people, says the Spirit of the Lord. You will be a blessing even to your generation and the people that are coming after you, says the Spirit of truth. Spirit of the living God, I thank you for the flow that I see. Can you see it? Hmm. Flow. 
I break the words of limitation prophetically in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I see migraines, yeah? somebody, migraines. It's like your, your head, just on the left ear. There's, there's just a headache that never goes away. Can I pray with you? Somebody with this, it's okay. Somebody with just this irritation and, and, and just this headache. It's that, no? It's you. Spirit of the living God, we pray for healing. I rebuke headaches. I rebuke migraines. And then my he who the Son says free is free. Hear the voice of the Lord. I say, Depart! In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh. Oh, yes. Father, we thank you. Divine healing, I see it. Yeah, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You told me about it and you are healing it. It is defeated because it's a rebellion. In Jesus' name.